what's wrong with being a key grip or a gaffer or you know you get film school grads who are like you know oh I want to be a director I want to be a producer well if any one every one of those guys became a director and a producer well who the fuck's gonna actually crew your show welcome to the substreams on location documentary series over the next few months we'll be spending one day with each department of a real live hard-working film crew these are real people doing real work on a real film set For me, gripology, when I first stepped onto a film set, was like Lego for grown-ups. I don't know, just like the fact that you're creating something. We kind of make the shots, like, you know, we light the shots. Without us, it would look terrible. Cameras be mounted to cars and stuff, like that was like, whoa. And it's also the, the friendships that you build with different people. You're working with different people all the time. Right. Some good, some bad, mostly good. I mean, the only thing I can really, uh, uh, compare this to a tight grip crew like we've got here would be like if if you were in the military and like you get the camaraderie and it's probably one of the only industries that you can have a very prosperous and successful life and be paid to learn it Josh Pelham and his tight-knit team of Swing Grip Electrics have been working steadily in the docudrama television genre for over 10 years when not working on feature films, they regularly get hired to work on shows which air on the Discovery Channel, National Geographic, and True TV. Let's get to know these guys a little better. Generally, we are a rarity. Here in Canada, North America style, you tend to shoot under the premise of a grip team and a lighting team. Separated. Grips don't touch electric gear usually, and electrics don't touch grip gear. We differ on our crew. We don't have two separate departments grip and lighting. We do both. We're generally just referred to as swings. One basically supplies light and power. The other is gripology, which is the cutting and manipulation, uh, coloring, correcting, bouncing, molding of all the light, helping set the atmosphere and carve shadows. So many grips and electrics that I know seriously probably couldn't work anywhere else. Long hours, night shoots, not the nine to five, Monday to Friday work schedule. I did a desk job, desk job for two years, and I had to quit because I couldn't hack sitting there doing the same thing day after day. You gotta be pretty tenacious, I think, to deal with this industry and some of the abuse that you have to take, uh, physically, mentally, um, and time schedules. You know, you have to be able to deal with pressure. One of the fun things about our job is that there are a thousand different ways to do something. Because I'm so small, I get the uncomfortable job. <laughs> Every day is different. You know, we, we never rarely do the same thing twice. Unlike a lot of these other jobs, you know, like wardrobe, like if you make a mistake, you know, what do you do? You prick somebody with a pen while you're trying to sew a button on in a hurry? Or me, I make a mistake with a 600 or 1200 amp generator, I kill somebody. You can't work in this industry if, if you don't trust the guy you work. I, I gotta be able to trust the guy. You have to be able to trust these guys. As I, I like to say, we are the infantry. We are the people that build the bridges that make, you know, and knock down the forest to make the production and make it happen, right? Run away, run away! A, a word I've heard many times before used to describe uh, people in grip, grip and lighting would be misfit. Mm, social misfit. Misfit of the world. There's a stereotype where we're all just a bunch of smoking, farting, tough guys. Really, when you when you start to work with a lot of grips, you do see that same personality. The, the same with the sparks, you know. They tend to be the, uh, you know, the crazy guys on set. There's a fear factor at times from the tech from other departments with us. Certainly, there is maybe a bit of more aggressive nature, quite gruff, rough around the edges. They get out of our way when we need them to, and they know when they're in our way. You will hear frequently on a film set, it hurts when it hits. Duck or bleed, um, watch your back. Because of the uh, demanding work that we do, there are certainly times that there are some flare-ups. So we will need it. We're, yeah, it's, okay. it's all being used. No, man, we, you know, we all have disagreements about things. Um, personality goes a long way in this, in this industry in general. Oh, yeah, it's personality, right? You, 
everybody's personality is different. You got to play everybody a little bit different. Uh, my crew's awesome. They're all consummate professionals. They all have great personalities, which is probably one of the biggest assets to being a good technician. Um, your first couple days, you should just sit back and you know be there to help, watch and listen, and see how that crew works. You feel worked at the end of the day. <laughs> and you feel gratified for your, your time off. You feel like you're, you truly earned it. Copy that. Sorry. Um, I think I think probably a lot of these guys would make. Uh... Sorry, they're talking in my ear again. Oh, that's a... um, Copy. I gotta go, dude. They're calling me to get back to work. Why don't you throw that cable off of the truck at the ass end? Just throw it so it's out of your way.